Doing a little work here. Found some fun stuff. So this is the K member here, and there's four bolts, um, two on each side, one here, one here. These nice big bolts here that hold the K member to the uh, subframe. And it looks like the K member's been off before. There was some really shitty work done in here. So looks like I'm going to have some subframe work to do as well. But basically it looks like they stripped out the bolt and then cut a hole in the side of the frame here to weld a nut inside for the bolt to go in. Well, they didn't only weld the nut inside, they welded the bolt to the nut which made it a pain in the arse to get out. So what I had to do is basically the head of the nut was in there is take a little three inch cut off wheel and cut the head of that fucker off and then we'll be able to drop the K member. So it looks like there's some other stuff up here underneath the, uh, the brake line bracket. There's a nice big hole in there so once I get a little bit further, I'll be obviously getting some nice heavy duty steel and, and refabricating some of that stuff to beef it up. Other than that, we've got some other junk underneath and I'm contemplating a few different things. If you can see this cross member here, it's got a good chunk of rust in it and it's not just surface rust, it's gone through in some places you can see over here if I can zoom in while I'm laying down right to where the um, torsion bar goes in that is cracked and looks nasty so now is the uh, the conundrum of do I go ahead and get a whole new cross member which probably isn't all that much or do I take a stab at some fabrication skills and uh, See if I can find any good metal in there and cut out the bad shit and weld in new. Kinda, kinda wanna do the fabrication side, but I've got plenty of other stuff to do, so I may end up just getting a new cross member. So that will have to be done before the floor plan goes in, since it tack welds to that. Or not tack, but uh, spot welds, whatever. Anyways. Okay, stokers. K member is now disconnected. I left the power steering pump on there, but was having a pain in the arse time with these guys. The uh, lower control arm or whatever it's called. These torsion bars, I could not get to come out of those cups. So basically I just disconnected everything to those lower control arms and then put the floor jack jacked it up and then rammed it backwards and pulled it off of the put off the front and now I should hopefully be able to take a hammer and whack those off of the torsion bars and get those out so making a little more progress getting her down to bare bones and then I'll be able to probably get some casters on her roll her out pressure wash sandblast and then start some fabrication I think that's the plan got the motor still sitting over here on the stand haven't done anything else with that yet but uh, that'll be coming here soon too so stay tuned making a little uh, caster I'm just gonna weld on some casters to the subframe so I just welded up these brackets here and basically what I'm gonna do then is have these big old casters um, attached to them so I'll just bolt through here and then the other end um, I'll weld to the subframe and then just cut it off later and then probably put 
a, a couple more braces on there just to make sure that it's nice and sturdy. But these are 600 pound casters so at least I'll be able to move the car around get it in and out of the garage for sandblasting and stuff and until I can get a rotisserie and really go at it. Alright here's the idea. So I've got my little caster that I made the bracket and basically um, if I can get a shot of it, I'm going to weld it underneath the car to the subframe and then I'll be able to roll it around and then what I'll do is on the front and back I'll add like a little 45 degree brace that way it'll just keep it from uh, breaking off and hopefully that'll be beefy enough to hold it. So I can roll her in and out of the garage while I'm working on it. And uh, yeah, we're just uh, keep on trucking along. These uh, came out pretty good. Just a little couple pieces of steel, a little angle, angle iron and some square pipe and then just bolted them on. So we should be good to go there. All right, all righty ready. Got my casters on and uh, they're all welded in. So, got the four wheels down there. Jack sands aren't even touching anything. But uh, I can now, with just a one hand, actually two fingers, move the car around. So, that'll be nice to get it moved around. Fun stuff. These casters are awesome. Makes life a lot easier being able to. Just about anywhere. Cool stuff. I don't have my screen capture up at the moment, but this is one thing that I've been working on. Um, as you can see, it's just an Excel spreadsheet. I've got body, steering and suspension, electrical, interior, engine, transmission, tools needed, parts sold, and total cost summary. And basically, um, what I've got here is I can list part, part names, where to buy them, um, the part number, and then estimated cost and actual cost. And then it totals up at the top right. Um, for the totals, so that goes for all of the all of the various pages. So if I select electrical, um, there's some things that I need, um, where to buy them, where what I've found so far, estimated cost. Um, this one I haven't bought anything yet, so it's zero. And then um, coming down to like tools needed, I've just got a checklist here of tools that I I need, and then I just have a a mark where I can say you know I've already purchased them and the price that I spent and the total cost and then we have parts sold so various parts that I've been selling um, just put those up here and then um, that totals as well it all comes over to the cost summary and this is um, I've got it set up so it calculates everything so I've got the price of the initial car and then the parts sold it subtracts that and then the new parts total it adds that and I have that broken down so anytime I buy parts on the various tabs below it's going to carry over to this section so I can know how much I spent on the body, the steering, suspension, electrical, interior, engine, and transmission and then all of that will total up to the top and the new parts total. That will just give me an idea of the, the total car and parts. Um, then I have the tools that I've had to purchase for this and then the total with the tools and then a little time log down here at the bottom just to see how much time was spent so I don't know if you guys are interested in this and tracking um, your build just to kind of see an idea of what your total cost over everything is and then to log some of your time just let me know um, you can shoot me your email address down in the direct messages and I will uh, email you a copy of this over if you're interested thanks